Welcome back to another episode of Muskie Basics. In this, on this episode, we're gonna talk more about uh, tips for beginning muskie anglers. Uh, as you probably know, uh, muskie fishing is probably one of the fastest growing populations or fishing segments in freshwater. So there's more and more new anglers coming into the sport every year. And so we're trying to get them to maybe shorten the learning curve because obviously you know oh, yeah. and I know how hmm. tough it can really be. And even when you are an experienced angler, you know how you can go out and get your butt kicked. I mean, we yeah. did it all day yesterday. I do it a lot of days. You yeah. know, it's, uh, first off, make sure you really, really want to go chase muskies before you get into this crazy game because it will change your life. These fish are weird. They, they change how you approach fishing. Um, they certainly change the game a little bit. I know oh, yeah. they cha they've changed your lifestyle. <laughs> Um, they so ruined make, my lifestyle. Make sure actually. <laughs> that you really, really want to get into musky fishing, but it is awesome. It's a great sport. Uh, I love the putting the puzzle together every day. I love the challenge of it. I, I think if we could go out and catch them at will every day, I, it would lose a lot of the the allure to me. Right. Um, I love the challenge, and I really love taking people out that haven't done it yet, haven't caught their first fish, showing them the process, and actually watching them catch the first fish. Man, it's it's a great feeling. So for newer musky anglers, is there I mean, obviously, there's no. We we all know there's no magic bait. There's no magic anything. What's the one thing that I guess that you could say is important for a beginning musky angler? Well, there's a lot of things that are important, but uh, keeping your lure wet is certainly one. You have to put time on the water, Jeff. There's no shortcut to catching muskies in general. It takes time. Can you catch one on the first cast of the day? Absolutely, but yep. generally it's gonna take you a lot more than that. They call it the fish at 10,000 casts for a reason. Right. They're challenging. Um, and I remember when I was first beginning, how, how do you get started? What lure do you choose? Where do you start? It is overwhelming. There's a lot to, to, to gather, and that's why we're doing these segments to kind of give guys maybe a little bit of a shortcut towards that. Well, and I think it's even gotten more overwhelming in the last 15 years based on just how much different equipment and different gear there is out there and different bait selections. It seems no, like no. when I was started, there was maybe a couple of two different brands of bucktails and a I don't want to date myself a little bit. I don't, you know, and there was a bulldog and, you know, some obviously there's a bunch of crankbaits, but it seems like there's been an explosion recently of new gear, new baits. It can it can be a bit daunting. Absolutely. And in fact, that's probably the first thing I'll say is keep it simple, man. You know, get one of each. Uh, you need a bucktail, you need top water, you need a rubber, you need a jerk bait, you need a twitch bait. And then I generally go with lights and darks. A lot of people get hung up on color, and yes, there are times where a certain color is the factor, but in, in general, and you know this of me, I like a dark profile and a light profile. Yep. Whether that's black, brown, purple, or blue versus a green, white, orange, whatever it is, as far as a bright color. Um, and then I'll, you know, I'll, I'll use those depending on color of the day, color of the water, and all of that. Sure. Um, probably the one thing that I would say to get people started and to catch a muskie is fish the weeds. Find good weed beds, learn how they lay, uh, learn how weed lines lay and get right in there and get in the slot. People are afraid to get weeds on their lure. Um, even my clients, when they bring in their retrieve and they're bummed out because they have a little chunk of weed hanging on there. Um, getting in there where these fish are is very important. And again, putting time on the water is very important and paying attention to details because uh, when you get that shot or that one shot of a day, you better be ready for it. Well, it's ironic that you said weeds because in my very first video I put out this year, I, I said I have a theory that there's always muskies in weeds. You don't always find the biggest fish in the system, Correct. but there's always some, I always feel like there's some muskies in the weeds. And it's a great starting point, Jeff, especially for you know beginning anglers or guys that are, that are just learning the process of finding muskies. Do we catch them in open water and on rocks and in all sorts of different situations? Absolutely we do. But day in and day out, I make my living by taking people to really good weed beds that I know where muskies live right. and I spend a lot of time there. Right. Um, they may bite on one lure this day or a different lure the next day, um, but as long as you're in the areas where those fish are and you keep fishing them, um, you will encounter them. Sure. Um, the other thing that I think a lot of guys do is they go through, through a weed bed one time. And if they don't see a fish, there's no fish there, right? Yep. Uh, the reality is, and you know this from fishing with me a lot, um, I'll hit my good spots three, four, five, six times a day, and a lot of times it's not till late in the day or the middle of the day or your fifth trip over that the fish start showing up. Yep. So gaining confidence in the spots that you're fishing and then spending time there are very critical. So in my, in my opinion, one of the biggest things would be, I, I always feel like confidence is key. If you feel like you're not gonna catch any muskies, you're probably not gonna catch any muskies. And um, so I guess the one bait that I guess you could recommend to somebody that would give them the most confidence, is it a bucktail? Is that the, is that the bait that they should start with? You know, in warm water, if the water's over 65 degrees, I would say yes. 
you okay. know, a small bucktail, reel it fast, cover a lot of water, um, you know, run it through lots of different weed beds, and you'll encounter success. Um, colder water temperatures, you know me, I love gliding style jerk baits, and I Absolutely. love rubber. I've probably caught more muskies on a bulldog than any other lure, um, but I use it as a tool. Um, so. Is there only one lure that works all season long? Not really. There are a few lure types that may work all season long, but the reality is, again, they're tools that have a certain purpose, and uh, learning where that purpose is and those functions are is, is key to yeah. success as well. So there you go. If you want to get started musky fishing, which we recommend that you do, but with <laughs> caution because it can definitely change your life for the better and for the worse. Um, you meet a ton of great people. You learn a lot of stuff. You'll have some great memories. So get out there, get a bucktail, get a hellhound and get a bulldog and uh, based off of water temperature get out there and start yes. throwing them so get out there with two different there are three different baits two different colors six baits total in your box and just start chucking and see what happens once again we appreciate you watching these videos these are the musky basics we have our other line of videos which we'll do some informational stuff in those also but those are where we're going to do more of the day-to-day -day fishing adventures hopefully catching for us. some muskies hopefully catching <laughs> muskies because it's way more fun to watch us catch muskies but until then subscribe to this channel ding the bell so you get the notifications and we thank you for watching